Good morning, grade four. Welcome back to the English class. How are you all doing today? In the previous class, we saw a few exercises from the chapter "The Best New Artist." Today, we'll see the rest of the exercise from the same chapter. So, all of you, please turn to page number forty-eight in your English workbook. Let's move on to the next part. This is the grammar section. Let me read the question to you. Fill in the blanks with the correct word from the brackets. The first question is: Amaya and her brother dash travel or travels by the school bus. So here you have to choose the correct word from the options given in the brackets. So which are the choices given here? Travel and travels. So here the subject is plural: Amaya and her brother. There are two people. So the verb should also be in the plural form. The verb here is travel. If the subject was singular. It should have been travels, but here the subject is plural, and hence the verb should be travel. So the correct choice there is Amaya and her brother travel by the school bus. Or the next one, each student dash a project at the end of the term. Is it submit or submits? Each student. That is a singular subject, hence the verb should be submits. So each student. Submits a project at the end of the term. The third one, I dash what you are saying. Is it understand or understands? The correct verb here should be understand, because the subject is I, first person singular. So it is. So the correct sentence is I understand what you are saying. Fourth one, we should always dash to say please and. Thank you. Is it remember or remembers? Here the subject is plural. The subject is we. So the correct verb should be remember. We should always remember to say please and thank you. Now the fifth one. My sister sometimes dash me with my homework. Is it help or helps? Here the subject is my sister, which is a singular subject. Hence the verb should be helps. My sister sometimes helps me with my homework. Now the sixth one: neither my mother nor my brothers dash how to play basketball. Here we are talking about my mother and my brothers. Here the subject is mother and brothers. So the subject is plural, and hence the verb here should be no. Neither my mother nor my brothers know how to play basketball. Now the seventh one, either my mom or my dad dash coming to pick me after school. Here we are talking about either the mom or the dad. So we are referring to one person at a time. So the subject is singular. So the correct sentence is either my mom or my dad is coming to pick me after school. Eighth one, these clothes dash. Too small for me. Is it is or are? We are talking about these clothes. There are more than one cloth. So the subject is plural. So the correct verb here should be these clothes are too small for me. Now let's move on to section B. Complete the sentences with the correct question tags. So let's move on to the first question. You came by the school bus. Dash. How would you add a question tag to this? You came by the school bus. Came is a verb in the past tense. So how can you add a question tag to this sentence? You came by the school bus, didn't you, or did not you? So let's see the next one. They are going to watch a movie. Are in they? Here the subject is they, and it says they are. So which is a positive statement. So the question tag should be negative. So they are becomes aren't, are not they. So they are going to watch a movie, comma aren't they? Then a question mark. The third one, you will wait here until I return. How would you add a question tag? Want you? It says you will. So it should be will not you or want you. Then fourth one, Paul is a good. Tennis player, isn't he? Here it says, Paul is. 
So when you add a question tag, instead of saying isn't Paul or is not Paul, we just say isn't he. Now let's move on to the fifth one. Those are your sandals. How would you add a question tag? Those are your sandals, aren't they? Those are your sandals. You are pointing at those sandals and you are asking those are your sandals, aren't they? So the next one, you didn't tell her. You didn't. The statement is negative. So in the question tag, it should be positive. You didn't becomes did you. You didn't tell her, did you? Make sure you put a comma after the sentence and then a question mark after the question tag. Now the seventh one, he never drinks water with his food. What is the question tag? Does he? He never drinks. So the subject is he, the verb is drinks. So the sentence here is negative, never drinks. So the question tag should be positive. So it becomes does he. Instead of does in he, it becomes does he. It becomes positive question tag. He never drinks water with his food, does he. Eighth one, they did not ask us if we wanted to go. Did they? It says they did not. So the question tag becomes did they. Hope you are clear with all these answers. Now let's move on to the next section and it is the listening exercise. Listen to the passage on the importance of extracurricular activities and fill in the blanks. See, I will read out a passage to you. You have to listen to the passage very carefully and fill in the blanks to complete these sentences given here. So listen carefully. So this passage is about art class. The qualities that make a good student and in turn a good person are punctuality, discipline, honesty and dedication to work. Another important quality is participating in extracurricular activities. Though the major focus of a student's life is on studies, you must also participate in sports, music, dramatics, dance or any other additional activity for an all-round development. These activities teach you patience, precision and team spirit. It also teaches us the ability to cope with failure, attention and other lessons essential for your development into an adult. Time management is another skill which you learn through extracurricular activities. These help you to become more confident about yourself, know your strengths and weaknesses and face challenges in the future. It is important for both parents and teachers to inculcate these qualities in students for it is only through their guidance that they will be able to imbibe the values. We must remember that what they learn at this age frames their future identities. So children, I hope you listen to the passage carefully and were able to fill in the blanks and complete these sentences. Let's have a look at the answers. The first one, punctuality, dash, honesty and dedication make a good student. So what is missing there? Punctuality, discipline, honesty and dedication make a good student. Let's see the second one. You must participate in sports, music, dramatics or dance for an dash. So the answer is for an all-round development. Now the third one. Extracurricular activities teach you dash, dash and dash. Extracurricular activities teach you patience, precision and team spirit. Now the fourth one. They also help you to know your dash and weaknesses. The answer is, they also help you to know your strengths and weaknesses. The last one, the guidance of dash and dash is important for students to inculcate these values. So the answers are, the guidance of parents and teachers is important for students to inculcate these values. So I hope you got all the answers correct. Now let's move on to the next section and this is the speaking exercise and it's about sharing and experience. Let me read the question to you. Have you ever participated in a competition such as an elocution contest or one where you have had to sing or dance? 
How did you feel when you were up on the stage and all eyes were on you? Share your experience with the class. So have you ever performed a singing or dancing on a stage in front of an audience or any other competition on a stage? How did you feel when you were performing in front of an audience when everyone was looking at you? Were you feeling nervous? Were you feeling self-conscious? So you can share about that experience in this activity. You can talk about it to your friends or family, record it and submit it in Thames. Now the next exercise is punctuation. You have to punctuate the following paragraph. You can see a paragraph here. Read the paragraph very carefully and you have to use proper punctuations wherever necessary. You have to capitalize letters and use proper punctuation marks wherever necessary and rewrite the paragraph given here in the space provided in the textbook itself. Now let's move on to the next section. This is the writing exercise and this is also a homework for you. Identify the errors in this paragraph and rewrite it correctly. So here also you can see one paragraph. Read the paragraph very carefully. Identify the spelling and grammatical and punctuation errors here and rewrite this paragraph either in the space provided here in the textbook or in your notebook. So once you are done with all the activities, you can take a picture and send us to Teams. So children, we have come to the end of this chapter. That's all for today. We will see you in the next class with a new chapter. Till then, bye.